Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Slider Havoc here, and we are back on Sky Factory 2.5. And today, well, we're starting off in the deep dark because I'm literally just really locating the quarry. If you can see, um, there's a lot of dirt because the quarry finished. It did its job, it did its job well, and now we've got to move on and do um, more quarrying, mining, whatever you want to say. But uh, the reason I decided to start the episode down here was there was two things. I was going to get some dirt, but I wanted to show you my little build. Um, I was sitting around, um, you know, messing with tinkering things, and I brought the Tesseracts down to power this whole thing. And I was like, you know what? I really want a cute little build that I can come in and out of safely. And so this is what I came up with. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. This side's very plain because the quarry was on this side. Uh, I'll probably end up uh, modifying that a little bit. But yeah, this is the, the build I came up with. Let me tell you how hard it is to build in the deep dark. I don't care how far out the torches are. These guys keep coming. Keep coming. I see a creeper around here somewhere. There he is. Um, they're relentless. Building like this was so tough. Like, I had to get up in the air. And when I mean up in the air, I mean, like, you know, stack a couple. Of, I had to, like, start building from the top and slowly build down. Kill the mobs that were in the area. And then, yeah, it was a very repetitive process. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and set up another quarry right now. I want to do it somewhere close by so we can get this guy set up. Um, nullifier like that. Make sure the, yeah, the top is going to be where it's going to go because I'm going to do this. Oops, not like that. Yep. And then my Tesseract is going to go right here. Head on a swivel. These guys are relentless. I'm telling you, they are relentless. All right. And then I need to do my filters, but we're not going to do those quite yet because I need to we'll get all those items again. Okay, so this is connected uh, to the overworld. And so I changed my setup a little bit. And if you can see, it's kind of, it's very compact. Oh, wait, this guy can't be here. Um, do I have a hammer on me? I forgot to bring my hammer. Darn it. Um, these guys, yeah, they're relentless. They're absolutely relentless. Let me torch around here <clears throat> see non-stop it doesn't matter how well lit the area is they just keep coming but anyways um well i can put the nullifier on top looks kind of weird like that but whatever and then your port is gonna be on the bottom now there we go and where's the servo servos right there all right so um, I just need fence real quick and we're gonna go ahead and set up another quarry area like so I don't know how big I'm gonna I lost some of my uh, fence uh, when I was trying to collect it I'm sure it's down in that hole right there but whatever um, I don't know how big the area is going to be but it's gonna be as big as we can make it because this thing, oh my goodness, is so efficient and gets me so much good stuff. Let me go ahead and torch this area. Just mobs everywhere. Like, they're relentless. They're absolutely relentless. I can hear a skeleton, like, clacking in the background. Um, let me do F7. Oh, not F6. F7 to make sure my area is completely lit when I do this because I don't want to get harassed. I mean, it does limit the harassment, but they still come in from like all sides and they are relentless. They just keep attacking. I have used so many torches to light up down here. Hey, leave me alone. Eh, blow up all you want. As so long as you don't hurt me, I don't care. All right, so let's see if we can get this quarry set up with, with all these mobs chasing me down. Let's do that. Oh, I tried to sidestep you. It didn't work. Skeletons, I hate them. Oh, my God, so many skeletons. Bonsai! Haha, <laughs> crit hit. I love the crit hits. Okay. So let's try to get as much set up as possible. Who's harassing me? A zombie and this dude. Whoa, lots of guys, lots of guys, lots of Steve's coming after me. I'm really curious, they're supposed to be like players, but so many of them just have Steve costumes. I don't think that's right. And some of these zombies, I don't know if the zombies down here are just uh, 
have more health or what it like you know the mobs are just different down here but uh some of these guys seem to have a lot of health a lot a lot a lot of health i don't know how big i can go with how much fence i have we will see uh we'll call this the point right here so there we go this like not flat surface makes this whole thing a little bit more difficult because <laughs> I'm constantly breaking bricks to get the fence to go through uh, the fence looks like it's on this line right here okay so we'll put this one right here head on a swivel these mobs come out of nowhere I'm, I'm telling I've never had such relentless mobs like it's just crazy uh, let's see Anyways, while I'm doing this, I'll explain. Today's episode, I actually want to take a trip to the nether. Um, a lot of the stuff that I've been wanting to do requires stuff that I need to get from Batania. And that being said, I want to get it done pretty soon. And, uh, oh, sorry. With that being said, I need Batania. Um, I need blaze rods. And there's, like, no blaze rods anywhere else. Like, they're just, they're just nowhere. And uh, so I've got to go to the nether and try to get some blaze rods. If I can safari net one, that would be awesome. Because then I could uh, do a mine factory spawner and uh, just get plenty of blaze rods. I don't need a lot to start. I actually just need two. And uh, supposedly it can come in loot bags. But um, uh, I have yet to get one in the... I think it's the purple loot bags that they're supposed to be able to come in. But I have yet to actually get any, so... Uh, this should be good though. This should have already started actually. Successful boundary and yeah, now scanning blocks. Cool. So it's doing its thing. So I just need to wait for a couple blocks to get in here so I can uh, whitelist and redlist or whitelist and blacklist to the uh, oh, what do you call it? You know, let me take these blocks so they can't just jump in here anymore. Um, so yeah, so I can blacklist and whitelist all those items and then we can get out of here. I just wanted to get this quarry up and running. I'll probably expand the boundary out later, but I want to make sure that they can't jump in. So I'm taking all the blocks away that they can jump in off of. It's like, this is like my kind of little safe haven inside the quarry. So I like to keep it pretty. Okay, here we go. So items that I don't need. Um, I can just dump all this stuff because it's going to take it all to arrow, bow, head. Okay, cool. So I don't need the dorite. I don't need limestone. Um, I don't need cobblestone. Because I have to... Limestone I got. There's a granite and andesite. I need to get those all so I can filter them out. Because I don't want all that garbage coming upstairs. All this stuff is actually set up to go back to the house now. Let me grab all this stuff. Uh, oh, coal. I need coal. Um, and so wait, basically what it does is this sends and receives, uh, or is it, sorry, this sends items and then receives energy. And so all the items from this chest will get sent to the overworld uh, where I've got it all set up. There we go. There's some granite. Let me see what else I got here. Don't have them all yet. Anyways, let's start whitelisting. Okay, you. We're going to whitelist you, 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 and you. And we're going to whitelist you. And then we'll go ahead and turn you on. Start clearing out that garbage. And I don't want to turn it on to go to the overworld until I get the rest of these materials that I don't need. Because they're just a hassle. But all this stuff will then get sent to the overworld, which is absolutely awesome. <laughs> And my dog is having issues right now. <laughs> um, you know what? I can, I can, we can do this later. Um, so you, 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 and you are blacklisted. And we'll go ahead and turn you on. And now it's going to start pumping the rest of that stuff out. And once I get to the overworld, I'll be able to identify, like, you know, what I need to get rid of. It's okay. Um, go, 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 go. All right, so we're heading back to the overworld. 
I can grab whatever items I don't want out of the chest later and come back down and fix it. I just want to be done with that. Um, although I did want to get some dirt and you know, I might just talk about it briefly. I got some dirt around here. I'm sure I do. So I can get, yeah, I got a hundred of them. Okay, cool. Uh, let me dump all this garbage that I don't need. <laughs> dump it into my inventory. That's, that's where I dump the stuff I don't need into my inventory. Okay. And then we'll take some dirt and then I want this wand. This wand is absolutely amazing. I, I, I dare say my favorite thing in this mod pack so far. If you can see, this is much, much bigger now. It's much expanded. I have done some major expansion over here. And the reason is, this cool little wand, not this, this is persimmon juice. This cool little wand right here. If you see, if you have a block in your inventory, like I have dirt, and I'm pointing at dirt, it will place a block everywhere that I have uh, the wand pointed at. So if I lean over the edge a little here, and I do a little of this, you'll see that it actually placed not just the top row, but the bottom row as well, all the way across. That is freaking amazing, if you ask me. That is how I did all this. I went and kept getting dirt from the deep dark where I was uh, using the quarry, and I just kept expanding and expanding. <clears throat> I'm gonna have a huge area to work with soon. But what I do need to do is make sure that this is all well lit. I didn't add much, so it should be okay. I don't see any X's, so we should be okay. Anyways, so today we're going to the nether. I'm going to try to get some blaze rods. I, I'm, I'm trying to be optimistic that this is going to work out because I believe the nether is a void as well. Um, I, I don't know if it is for sure, but I'm pretty sure the, the, uh, the nether is a void as well. And so we're going to end up in the middle of nowhere, and all I'm hoping is that there is a nether fortress close by. But I did plan ahead. And uh, this is the one time I can actually say I legitimately planned ahead. I mean, I, I can say it more than once, but um, I got everything already ready. I made these little teleport plates. And then I need my multimeter. Of course, that doesn't work. Multimeter there. And then we're going to need some obsidian to head to the nether like that. And I'm going to need a flint and steel. Got that. All right, so let me kind of explain what we did. So I've got this little teleport, so I don't have to, I don't want to leave another portal open on the off chance that uh, like zombie pigment and stuff like that can come in. So I made these little teleport plates and I just pop it down like that. I take my little multimeter here. If you shift to right click, I can make this home. I don't like that, home. Click a little okay and you can see it's charging up so it's going to work all pretty nice and stuff like that then all you do is jump on it when you have another one you select the location using this you select the location you want to go and you go and so we're going to place one of these in the nether if we're lucky enough to get um a portal that is relatively close to a um nether fortress if there's not one in eyesight, I, I can venture out probably a couple hundred blocks. I don't think they're going to be that far. You know, they're not going to be like, you know, too far. I'm going to have to run into one eventually. That's kind of what I'm going for. And, um, yeah, I think we're just ready to go, really. I've got the obsidian. I've got my thing. So hopefully, hopefully we're able to find a nether portal or a nether fortress relatively close by. This is what we're going for today. So let's go ahead and create our nether portal. Two, three, two, three, and then the top. Okay, is my F7 not on? Aha, that's why. Yeah, there, I was like, there had to be an X. There's, every time I put dirt down, there's always spots. Yeah, there we go. That mobbies can spawn on, and I don't want mobbies spawning. Okay, cool. So we're heading to the nether, guys. And we're about to see some fun stuff, and whew, we'll see how this goes. All right. Whew, through the nether we go. Please have a nether fortress close by. That's all I'm really, really hoping for is I want a nether fortress close by. Shift. Ugh, get out of the portal. There we go. Oh, we have another fortress. Oh, there's a lot of mobs over there. We have another fortress. Okay, cool. We can get over to that guy. Let me make this platform a little bit bigger first. Because, well, why not, right? And what I'm thinking is, I can just branch over because I've got, 
you know, I, I think I got, pl yeah, I got plenty of mana. I filled it up because I was moving the uh, mana tank or whatever. Um, let's just bridge over. Make sure I'm holding shift. Okay, here we go. Oh, I can't believe there's another fortress close by. I was, I was so assuming that it was just going to be insane. I don't, I don't know if torches make a difference in the nether. I actually don't remember the vanilla aspects. I don't remember if torches make a difference in the nether, but it just felt like it was getting dark and uh, it would have been a good idea. Wow, look at all those mobs that I'm walking towards on my map. That is crazy. I mean, I don't have, I have F7 mode on and it doesn't seem to do it anything. So I see blazes. That's all I need is a couple blazes. Um, I don't know if my armor's good enough to be down here like this. Oh, this will, this is going to be an adventure. But anyways, I've got the, the energy cell and that other teleport pad. So hopefully I'll be able to set it down over here and, um, yeah, I'm hoping for good things. I then I won't even need this portal anymore. I'll just use this, uh, teleport pad. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid of gas and oh goodness gracious look at all those mobs there's wither skeleton regular skeleton wither skeleton regular skeleton regular skeleton blit oh my god there's so many mobs and then I'm gonna have to fall down so I'm gonna have to take damage just to get down there oh this is so scary this is so scary I'm hanging over the void in the nether it's not even lava it's just instant death down there Okay, am I over? No, I'm not over yet. I am definitively over now. Okay. Now I've got to get down there. Zombie Pigman, Blaze. Oh my god, there's so many mobs. Uh, my sword is at 100%, right? Yes, my sword is at 100%. This is so scary. I should have brought a bow. As a matter of fact, yeah, I should have brought a bow. Well, and the Zombie Pigman's not going to bother me, so that's cool. Um, you know what let's go balls out let's just do this I'm so scared right now I am so scared huh. okay oh I'm getting withered oh no <laughs> okay well we've got the portal um I've got some awesome armor. We're going to take a bow and clear that area out. That's what we're going to do. That was so bad. That was so, so bad. Um, actually, I'm going to make a brand new bow. I'm not even going to take an old one. Um, I've got plenty of arrows, so that's not a problem. We need to clear that area out. Oh, that was so bad. And I've got this sick armor right here that I can use. So we'll do that. And then I can go get all my items back. That was so bad. Oh, I lasted a couple seconds. Oh, goodness. Well, at least I know I've got the portal. So, oh, goodness gracious. I I did not think that one out very well. Oh. Well, I got a bow now. Well, how did I get carrots? Did I grab carrots when I was... I don't know. I guess when I was grabbing uh, arrows, when the, carrot, or when the arrows ran out, I grabbed carrots. Oh, that was so bad. So, so bad. Oh my goodness. What is that white thing down there? Oh, it's a slime with a hat on. Yeah, how do you like it, skeleton? I need to get a cutlass too so I can take out these wither skeletons and get their heads. Um, that's really slow. There we go. Alright, need to clear this area out. feel like I'm going to fall off. Okay. It looks pretty clear now. At least for right now. You know, I don't even want these guys to come over here. I'm out of the range of the blitz or blaze. Uh, not so much anymore. Alright, got him. Got a hat out of it. Oh, hey, you guys stay the heck over there. I don't want you guys anywhere near me. 
Oh my god, there's so many mobs. Oh, this is just crazy. Does it go through the clouds or does it get stuck in the... Oh no, it goes through the clouds. Yeah, I got you guys' number, man. This was so much smarter. Why didn't I do this the first time? Why didn't you why didn't you guys tell me to do this the first time? This is so much safer. I think they might get stuck in that cloud. Alright, um, well this area down here is clear. Okay. Let's go ahead and get my items picked back up. Armor on. Oh wait, I don't have room for the armor. Um, ooh, I got a necrotic bone though. I don't need you. Let me get some baubles put on. I should probably make one of those backpacks. I always make those backpacks. Why I haven't made one right now, I don't know. Um, bobble. Where are the other baubles at? Ooh, I got some wither heads too. Ooh, what is this? A wrath shard from Forbidden Magic? Ooh, and an envy shard. I'm getting all sorts of cool stuff I've never seen before. Um, do I have all my main items? Jay, let me turn my death spot off here. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is, well, let's see if I got any blaze rots from the blaze I killed. Nope. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my inventory straightened out here. Where's my sword? Where's my cutlass? My cutlass still over on the ground? I just didn't realize it. Whoa, okay, you guys are back already. I want my cutlass back. There it is. Okay. Give me my cutlass back. Oh, there's my pick, too. Oh, no, that's my wand. Um, Clint, what don't I need right now? I don't need coal. Definitely don't need that. Um, I want the necrotic bone, though. I don't need this essence. I got plenty, and I got a sword. Let me get my wand back. I just want all my stuff back. Okay. Oh, geez. Now you're on this side. I don't know. Does lighting up help in the nether? I don't know. I feel like I should know this, but I don't. Um, torches. There we go. We're going to torch up this area regardless. Because now I'm going to get my stuff sorted out. Okay. There. 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 Got you. Where's my dirt? There it is. How did I, how did I duplicate my wand? How did that happen? That's really weird. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and... There we go. We're going to plop you down. Didn't want to do that. want to do that. I don't need carrots. We're going to plop you right there. And change your top to out. Oh, that's not your top. That's your top. And then we're going to put the plate down. Like so. And where's my multimeter? Right there. Click you. We're going to call this another. And so. And then I should be able to step on this and just go home. Oh, it's got to charge up, but yeah. Okay, cool. Woo -hoo. Okay. We've got that situated. Now, let me get my bow back. Because I'm keeping these guys at a distance. I just want to get a couple blaze rods to start. That was my whole thing about getting to the nether, was just getting a couple blaze rods. Didn't really care about anything else at the moment. Except the shards look like they could be cool. Do I want to piss off the zombie pigmen? I kind of do. They all kind of piss me off. Oh, and see, he was holding like shards and stuff. That's cool. All right. Oh yeah, I pissed off your buddy, so now you're pissed off at me, huh? My goodness. How much health do you have? Too bad headshots don't count. Um, ooh, this is a pretty big nether fortress, too. Is that a blaze rod? Aha ha, blaze rod. I don't need coal, but I do need a blaze rod. All right, so we've got one blaze rod. If I can get two blaze rods, the this nether trip is going to be considered a heck of an accomplishment, and it's all I really wanted. And then I can come down and bring a safari net and do more later. Hey, don't be shooting at me. 
That is a lot of blaze right there. I just realized how many are down there. Oh, that's crazy. Just need another blaze rod. Just one more blaze rod. If I can get that, I'll be happy and I'll consider this successful. And then next episode, I can really get going on the stuff in Batania that I want to. I might actually do it in between because I really want to get it done. Hey, screw you. Don't be shooting your fireballs at me. I just realized I'm going to have to go back through all this, aren't I? Yeah, there's going to be guys back there I'm going to have to fight through. Come on, I just want a blaze rod. Oh, no, 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 no. Fire bad. Fire very bad. I don't have a bucket of water. That's what I need to check, too, is if I can bring some of those other liquids down here. And if those will work. Come on. Just let me get... Oh, there's a blaze rod. Okay, I'm grabbing it and going. Got it. We're getting out of here. Oh, yeah. Screw you. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Let the fire go out. There we go. All right. We got two blaze rods, right? Yeah, that's all I needed. I just needed two blaze rods so I can do one thing for Batania. Oh, I'm going to get hit again. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. All right. Here we go. Zombie Pigman, you shouldn't be upset. I haven't bothered anybody in a while. Okay, cool. All right, so this is set to home. This should take me home, and I'll be a happy camper. Yes, I see sparkles. I see particles. We should be warping. Please don't bring the zombie pig man with me. Oh my god, this takes a while. Thought it was faster. <gasps> if we're home, I will so consider this mission successful. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. This, okay, this was mission successful. And this one will always stay clicked in the nether for right now. That was mission successful. We went to the nether. We've got our two two blaze rods we'll obviously get more done there but that's what i wanted to do because this allows us to get going on batania which would be exactly what we're going to do in the next episode and i want to find out about that forbidden magic so i got some research i need to do um i can take this armor off because i want to save it as much as possible and i can put my armor back on like so oh so exciting Guys, I, I don't know about you. My heart is literally like pumping right now. Like that was that was more intense than I had planned on it being. Wow, I'm actually using a lot of lava right now. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If there's anything you guys want to see, please let me know. But uh, when we come back, we are definitely going to be digging into Batania because, well, Batania seems to be the place to take us stuff. And now I can get the rest of those blocks that I didn't want. Um, there's marble. Yeah, I'm going to do that off camera. Anyways guys i hope you're enjoying yourselves i know i am really really having a good time here and until next time we are out of here peace